Hello, this is Charity Adams with Adams Acres Scrapping at AdamsAcres.com and I just wanted to show you today how we go about welding letters together so we have one shape instead of individual letters. And it's really simple and very easy to do and sure cuts a lot. So let's go ahead and get started and get our letters. I'm going to click on the screen or on the mat here and I'm going to type out the word happy. H-A-P-P-Y. I'm make it a little bit bigger just for effect so you can see what I'm looking at. Now these letters are completely individual and we're going to click on the magnifying glass to look at where the cut lines are going to be. All of the red line is where the Cricut cuts the letters. So you'll notice that each one of these letters is going to be individual. We want to highlight the whole group by clicking on the entire group of letters. Not one individual letter, but the entire group of letters. We'll go over to our properties box and you can find that by clicking on windows and looking at shape properties. We want to click on the properties box. We want to make sure that all the letters are highlighted and we click on the box marked weld. So you have a little check box there. Now let's click on the magnifying glass again to see where our cut lines are going to be. Again, no letters are overlapping except for this little P and Y and sure cuts a lot. Turn this line gray so Cricut isn't going to cut there so these would be together. What we want to do is make all of the letters go together. So we're going to highlight the A. We can use this grabber pointer here and we can move it over with our mouse to help to overlap the H and the A or we can use another tool called the nudge tool and we can nudge the P over if you want to keep things in line and, and you don't trust your uh, self moving things individually. So we've got the P overlapped. Now let's nudge over the other P until it overlaps. Very easy, very simple. And you're going to have to keep clicking on it. There we go. I got it overlapping. Now let's overlap the Y. I'm going to use my pointer. I've there we go. Now let's take a look at the cut lines again and see if we've got these all overlapped and see if we have a one complete die cut. We hit preview. The H and the A are going to work to, going to work together. The A and the P are working. The two P's are working and the Y is working. That means that when we go ahead and hit the cut button right here, Crooked is going to cut this as one die cut instead of individual letters. If you by chance didn't have this P clicked on weld, let's see what happens go ahead and hit the magnifying glass you'll notice that the cut lines come back right there and right there so you just definitely want to make sure that everybody is on weld so that you have one complete unit again this is Charity Adams with Adams Acres Scrapping at AdamsAcres.com you can stop by and look for other videos on how to uh, do more scrapbooking in your house you have a great day